Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to specify complex data types in R. There are several different data types in R and in this video we want to concentrate on the complex data type. Complex data type is a number with two parts, a real part and an imaginary part. So let's start out by creating a variable called k and assigning it our two parts. I'm going to assign it a real part of the value of 2 and using the plus sign I'm going to give it an imaginary uh, value of 5 and we indicate that with the letter i to indicate that it is imaginary. So let me run this line of code, the two parts in this variable, and see what happens. And when we go over to our global environment we see that the uh, variable k has a value of 2 plus 5 1. So 2 is the real and 5 is the imaginary part of this data. And so in my console, if I use the print function to just display the value of k, it will also, when I click run, display um, the value of 2 plus 5, 1. So R is able to recognize this data type here. So let's next then we want to check that the, what, the, what the type is. So we use the class function. Um, so that will check the value of k as to what data type it is. So click on run. And it tells me in the console uh, that it recognizes k as a complex data type. We can also use um, an is is.complex function to also determine if the data type is complex. So here we go, is.complex. So with this time here, we might in, in, in our coding want to check if a particular variable uh, is complex. So is.complex k, we'll, we'll check this. So there are only two possible values, true or false. So let's run this and see. And we can see in our console that the is.complex function returns a value of true for the k variable. So when you're just starting out, it's unlikely you're going to need to use complex numbers early on. But it is useful to know what they are and how to create them. So that's how you specify and check complex data types in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.